Germany closer to receiving stealth combat drone. Germany may soon take a major step toward integrating unmanned systems into its future air combat capabilities. According to a new report by Hartpunkt, Airbus Defense and Space plans to acquire the U.S.-developed XQ, 58A Valkyrie drone to serve as a learning vehicle for testing manned unmanned teaming concepts in preparation for the long term development of a European collaborative combat aircraft. The report states that Airbus recently received approval from the German Ministry of Defense to import the Valkyrie, an experimental, low cost unmanned aircraft designed by the US firm Kratos. The platform, initially developed as a high performance target drone, has since evolved into a candidate for future loyal wingman roles, with a reported unit cost under $10 million. In a speech delivered in Berlin earlier this year, Airbus Defense and Space CEO Michael Skullhorn emphasized the need to develop an experimental drone platform quickly. This vehicle must be equipped with German mission systems, he said, so we can learn together with the Air Force how to fight with drones. Airbus is expected to use the Valkyrie as a surrogate to gather operational data and validate software and systems ahead of any full-scale European collaborative combat aircraft effort. While France and Spain continue to collaborate with Germany on the future combat air system, which includes a manned next-generation fighter and an unmanned remote carrier, the timeline for fielding those systems extends to at least 2040. In the meantime, Germany is seeking to gain experience with collaborative combat aircraft operations before FCS reaches maturity. According to Hartpunkt, Airbus has also initiated discussions with Sweden Saab to jointly develop a European collaborative combat aircraft platform. Neither company has confirmed the talks. Airbus declined to comment on the report, and Saab stated it does not comment on third-party reports or related specific claims. A potential Airbus Saab partnership would reflect growing defense cooperation between Germany and Sweden. Berlin has already chosen Saab's Arexis Electronic Warfare Suite to equip 15 Eurofighters for electronic attack missions, diverging from standard Eurofighter configurations. The decision highlights Germany's confidence in Saab's aerospace and systems integration capabilities. Saab for its part, has already begun exploring high-speed unmanned aircraft as part of its own future combat air system program. A 2022 research paper revealed the company had conducted wind tunnel tests of a loyal wingman type concept designed for supersonic operations. Saab also collaborated with German AI firm Helsing in a recent test that saw a Gripeny fighter fly under the control of Helsing's Centaur autonomous software with no major modifications to the flight control system. Although Airbus leads the remote carrier effort within the FCS consortium, Germany has yet to develop a national collaborative combat aircraft prototype. As Hartpunk notes, the government and defense industry have so far made limited progress in that area. Bringing in the Valkyrie could accelerate hands-on testing, provide early insight into the challenges of integrating unmanned assets into manned formations, and help shape future collaborative combat aircraft requirements. Defense analysts suggest that political support will be essential if Germany is to move from experimentation to a fully funded bilateral program. A joint development effort with Saab could offer a sovereign European alternative to foreign collaborative combat aircraft systems, an increasingly important consideration given the evolving strategic posture of the United States. The German armed forces have made clear they intend to deploy unmanned systems controlled from both ground stations and crewed aircraft before FCS reaches operational readiness. With the Valkyrie now expected to arrive in Germany, the groundwork for that transition may finally be underway.